green. I bleed green. I bleed green. I bleed green. I bleed green.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 16th Annual Wolverine Awards. Please welcome Utah Valley University Director of Athletics, Mike Jacobson. I ran into a bunch of strange guys coming down the stairs there. I, uh, I had my green suit all ready to put on and President Holland wouldn't let me do it, but uh, for good reason. But aren't those guys great? Gals and guys great? Let's give them another hand. They're really something. You know, I look out here tonight and, and see the setup and see the, the gobos up around the building and, and the great group that we have here, a tremendous uh, fine-looking group of student-athletes and, and having everyone here this night to hel help us celebrate uh, another great year of Wolverine Athletics. Uh, tonight, we're here to celebrate the accomplishments of you, of each one of you, of your successes in the classroom, and uh, your successes in your area of competition and basically your su successes in life. It's hard to believe that uh, another year has come and gone. You know, we have finals next week, which I know you're all really looking forward to. Uh, we have commencement next weekend. Uh, we're ra wrapping up our spring sports and, and bringing another year to, to end. Before you know it, we're going to be starting uh, the 2011-2012 academic year which is exciting for all of us. And I, I would just like to maybe send a little message right now that, you know, look how fast the time goes. You know, we were just getting this year started just a short time ago and how excited we all were. And here it is, it's come and gone. And the time goes so fast. And because of that, it's just so important that each one of us, all of us, have no regrets when all is said and done, that we do the best we can, that we be all we can be in the classroom, in your area of competition, and in life itself. Because if we don't be all we can be, if we're not the best we can be, then life is going to pass us by just a little bit, and it's going to be really hard for us to catch up. And so it's so important as we go forward, as we wrap up this year, you seniors, and as we start a new year next year, the rest of you, that we're excited about it, and we're geared up, and we've prepared, we've trained, and done all we can to be the best we can be going forward. Uh, before we get into the award presentations, it's important that I kind of uh, let you understand a little bit of how, how this process all comes to, to fruition. Uh, first off, we ask the head coaches to make recommendations of uh, people on his teams or her teams to, to represent the different categories that we have. And it doesn't just have to be those off of their teams. It can be anyone within our program, and it's surprising how many coaches uh, sometimes recommend somebody from another team, someone they've watched, somebody they know, how they've succeeded, and they wanted them to, to have a nomination in this area. And uh, after the coaches do this, we bring them together and we have a committee, a committee of athletic administration, uh, a committee of, uh, from the community, from the Wolverine Club, uh, from our faculty, and from our sports information. And then we spend a couple days doing the most difficult job of trying to come up with the candidates and eventually the finalist to, to make all of this happen. Uh, the thing in the bottom line is that you're all champions, you're all winners, you're all the best in the eyes of um, athletic administration here at UVU. And unfortunately, not everyone can, can be the winners at this time, but it can be something you strive for you know, in the future. As you well know, and I think you can understand, this is not an easy process. It's a very, very difficult process and something we take very serious and we spend an awful lot of time on. At this point, I want to take just a minute to, uh, several of us have uh, these um, lapel pins uh, on our jackets, and it has NM number four. And this is in remembrance of Nate Mathis. Not in remembrance necessarily, but for us to remember Nate Mathis. Uh, I think, as most of you know, you know Nate. Uh, he's one of our assistant athletic directors. He's very much involved in our marketing and promotions and our corporate partners. And, here three weeks ago, uh, he decided to go one-on-one -on -one with a tree when he was skiing up at Park City. And as you can imagine, the, the tree came out uh, the, the stronger in all of this. And uh, Nate is, is in the hospital continually. He's in a recovery state. And it is our hope and prayer that he'll be back with us soon with his vibrant personality and his great leadership. And uh, he considers him, uh, his, himself a friend with each one of you. And so as we go forward in... Uh, 
in, in this near future that uh, each of us remember him in our thoughts and in our prayers and with the hope that he's going to be back with us soon with his vibrant personality and his great strength and leading us in so many different areas to where he is uh, very good at. We also need to extend a special thanks this night to the Sorensen Student Center and for their staff, for them providing everything in our setup that we have here tonight. Also, Studios and Broadcasting, who is in charge of all the technical and, and video and, and recording end of things tonight. Dining Services, who have prepared, prepared the food and who are serving uh, the food tonight. Uh, our UVU Spirit Squad, who's going to help us out in presentations. And then, uh, very importantly, our Wolverine Club, who's an integral part of this, uh, especially Jared Sumption, who's the, the leader of our Wolverine Club, the director of it, and those that are working with him to put this production together, our sports information and Clint Berge and James Warnick and, and all the support staff that has helped to make, make it all possible and provide, provide this uh, special event that I know that as you leave tonight, you'll all really have enjoyed. It is my opportunity, my privilege now, to introduce uh, our one and only President uh, Matthew S. Holland, who is the president of our university and such a great president that he is and a great support that he is to our athletics program. Uh, he's just spent a, a week in China just most recently and uh, where he was an am ambassador for the state of Utah and so also for Utah Valley University. And so as I welcome uh, President Holland, I think it's appropriate that I do it. President, come on up. Um, Hong Yu, Hong Yu. <laughs> it's all yours. Thanks. Well, I can assure you, you've already missed the best part of the show, sitting back there backstage. Um, let's just put it this way, Mike Jacobson ha has hips, and when the Green Man group starts to play, he knows how to move those hips. That's true. It was quite a sight. I'm sort of disturbed by it. Uh, um, it's, uh, it's great to be with you. Uh, uh, you do look uh, fantastic tonight. Uh, especially grateful to have uh, our female athletes here tonight. Uh, I was thinking about uh, this on the way in, about the, that, that a favorite story about the family that goes in. They've got a relative who's having brain surgery, and uh, they're talking to the doctor about the options and the procedure, and the doctor says, well, you know, you need to pick a brain, and uh, male brains are $50,000, and female brains are $25,000. The men in the family are sitting there kind of smugly, you know, smiling to themselves. And one of the women raises their hand and says, well, why is that, Doc? And he says, well, it's because the female brains have actually been used. So, uh, and when we look at the GPAs of the women's basketball team, no, no, okay. Very proud of you guys and your uh, academic accomplishments as well as your athletic accomplishments. I do want to thank uh, your leaders, uh, starting with your coaches. I think we have uh, the finest set of coaches in this land, and it's because they're not just committed to your athletic success, but to your success uh, as a whole person. Uh, you're supported by a wonderful staff, many times hidden from view, that make uh, your games and events and season possible. I hope you'll take time to, to acknowledge them and thank them. Uh, Mike Jacobson does a terrific job. Uh, again, uh, so much of the work of an athletic director is behind the scenes. And, uh, and if that's true for an athletic director, it's even more true for uh, Corey Duckworth, Vice President of Student Affairs, who's over this area. And, uh, and I want you to know what a defender and uh, proponent of the athletic programs uh, he is. And you're very well represented by him. Let me just conclude on this note to say that for me, at the heart of the UVU mission is one thing, and that's student success. That's why I do this job. That's why I get up in the morning excited about being at UVU is because of you students and trying to help you have the best experience you can have here at UVU. And you do so much to help us with this idea of student success by the success you have on the field, by showing a well-rounded uh, uh, love of life uh, and what you're doing in the classroom, but also on the ball field. It's just a very powerful dynamic on this campus. And so I salute you for 
what you've done for the great year you've had, how you've represented us. I hope you have a fantastic evening tonight. You certainly deserve it. Thank you very much. And now for the first award of the evening, please welcome the Director and Assistant Director of Compliance and Student Services, Mark Chogany and Cameron Walker. I'm pretty sure that's a violation, Mark. Cameron and I are presenting the awards for the Female and Male Newcomer of the Year. The Newcomer of the Year Award is given to the student athlete who is the, new to UVU Athletics and made a significant contribution to his or her team. The finalists for the Female Newcomer of the Year Award are... Brooklyn Campbell, Volleyball. Josie Summers, Softball. Lauren Sack, Soccer. And the Wolverine Award goes to Josie Summers, Softball. And the, the finalists for the Male Newcomer of the Year Award are This true freshman from Bear River High School has been the most consistent pitcher all season long and has helped her team to a solid start in PCSC play. Josie leads the team in almost every pitching category and has already been named the Conference Pitcher of the Week three times. And now the finalists for the Male Newcomer of the Year Award are... Mason Casper, men's golf. Jeremy Gendlick, baseball. Isaiah Williams, men's basketball. And the Wolverine Award goes to Isaiah Williams, men's basketball. A junior transfer from Chicago, Isaiah helped lead his team to a Great West Conference regular season title with an 11-1 record. The guard became Utah Valley's first men's basketball NCAA All-American when the Associated Press gave him an honorable mention as All-American. Williams was the Great West Player of the Year, Newcomer of the Year, and was a first-team All-Conference selection after averaging 17.5 points per game. Handing out the awards for the most inspirational male and female athletes of the year are a duo of track and field athletes, junior Marin Pincock and junior Matt Williams. The most inspirational athlete goes to the student athlete who did the most to inspire others through their play, attitude, competitiveness, and hard work. They may also be a player who overcame adversity to make a significant team contribution. The finalists for the most inspirational, inspirational female athlete award are Megan Yoakum, softball, Camille Broderick, soccer, Tierra Zog Hansen, outdoor track. And the Wolverine award goes to Megan Yoakum. A few months removed from microfracture knee surgery, Megan has been one of the best players in the entire Pacific Coast Softball Conference. Knowing that her team needed her, the senior outfielder has delivered as she is hitting over 400 for the season, and she's been named the Conference Player of the Week twice. The finalists for the Most Inspirational Male Athlete Award are Flint Ray, Wrestling. Josh McCabe, Cross Country. 
a quasi frimpong outdoor track. The Wolverine Award goes to Flint Ray. Flint was UVU's most consistent wrestler all season long as he went 25-4 and won his second consecutive conference title. Wrestling this year with a torn ligament in his shoulder, the 133-pounder made it to round 12 at the NCAA Championships in Philadelphia and finished his tournament run just one win shy of becoming an All-American. Please welcome to the stage Assistant Athletic Director Andrew Nelson and Chair of the Exercise Science and Outdoor Recreation Department, Dr. Jason Slack. Jason and I are here to present the awards for Male and Female Play of the Year. The Play of the Year could have been an individual effort or a team effort. There have been several exciting plays this year and it was tough for us to narrow down the finalists. And the finalists for the Female Play of the Year are... Chelsea Heaps, Volleyball. Women's Soccer. Abby Archibald, Women's Golf. And the Wolverine Award goes to Women's Soccer. You need to send somebody up here to get that award, women's soccer. After six tries against Idaho State, the seventh time was the charm as the soccer team picked up its first ever win over ISU. After five yellow cards had been handed out and the Wolverines were up one nothing with only seconds remaining, Nicole Archibald Spencer pushed the ball past ISU's goalkeeper with seven seconds remaining to clinch the win. And now we have the finalists for the male play of the year. Flint Ray, wrestling. Ben Kerr, wrestling. Men's basketball. And the Wolverine Award goes to men's basketball. All right, guys, don't be shy. Here we go. Here we go. On the road at the Pac-10's Oregon State in December, UVU found itself tied with the Beavers with under 10 seconds remaining. Swarbrick attacked the hoop and drew the foul and calmly knocked down two free throws with three seconds remaining to knock off the Beavers. Swarbrick finished the game with a double-double of 20 points and 11 rebounds. He was also 7 of 8 from the line in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, making her off-Broadway debut, please welcome to the stage track and field athlete, freshman, Allie Shields. to hand it to us I'd have to hand it to us through the heart and the cold and the good and the bad and the wins and the losses and the frustrations we've had I'd have to hand it to us I'd have to hand it to us because we are the Wolverines 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 Ooh, 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 ooh
all I gotta really say is track is a real sport, all the rest are games. But that's okay, because we are the Wolverines. 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 Here to present the awards for assistant coach and coach of the year are assistant track and field coach Paul Smith and senior associate athletic director Dr. DJ Smith. Wow, that was great uh, by Ali. Uh, uh, in case some of you don't know, uh, Ali Shields had the opportunity to be on the uh, Ellen DeGeneres show, so wasn't that great? Thanks, Ali. <laughs> Oh, Paul, before you get started, maybe, do you need a cough drop? I'm good. You know, <laughs> Smith Brothers? <laughs> I'm good, thank you, okay. thank you, thank you. <laughs> the assistant coach of the year is given to the coach who makes a difference in the lives of their student athletes, both in competition and in the classroom. The assistant coach is a major part of any program, and UVU has its share of many great ones. This year's winner, goes to a coach who works tirelessly on behalf of the team and who makes many sacrifices for the good of the team. The Wolverine Award for the Assistant Coach of the, assistant coach of the Year goes to Mike Kelly, men's basketball. Mike Kelly. third season of coaching for the men's basketball program. During his tenure, he has become one of the most liked and respected individuals in the athletic department. Coach Kelly recently helped the men's basketball team to their first ever Great West title as the team won the regular season crown with an 11-1 conference record. I think I need a teleprompter for this as well, but um, thanks very much. I just uh, love being part of the UVU community, I know I'm lucky uh, to, to be a part of it and work with the great coaches and, uh, and staff we have here, and I just love uh, every day with these guys over here. These guys are great, so thanks very much. Without a doubt, this year has been the most successful for Wolverine Athletics at the NCAA level, making a very difficult choice for the Coach of the Year Award. This year's Coach of the Year Award goes to a head coach who helped his team to an unprecedented season last spring while garnering national attention for the program. He epitomizes the toughness of a true Wolverine and has instilled that same tenacity within his team. The Wolverine Award for Coach of the Year goes to Eric Matson's baseball. Eric Matson. Madsen was named the 2010 Great West Coach of the Year after finishing the regular season with a 26-2 conference record and both the regular season and tournament championships. The third-year coach also led his team to the program's best overall season in history as they finished with a record-breaking 42 wins and were the top-hitting NCAA Division I team in the country. Well, this is a terrific honor, uh, especially with all the wonderful head coaches we have here and um, you know, I feel very humbled to, to receive this award. Again, you, you don't do it without a terrific team and with my coaching staff, uh, David Carter has done a great job with recruiting and helping us out and uh, uh, Mike Martin as well, Adam Openshaw. So again, I appreciate this. I love Utah Valley. Um, again, what an honor when you're represented amongst such great people. So thank you very much.
This couple can frequently be found cheering for the Wolverines at various sporting events. Please welcome to the stage two of UVU's best fans. From the Office of Finance and Administration, Sandy Kohler. And from the physical plant, LJ Kohler. We are here to present the award for the individual performance of the year. We've had several standout performances and a select few have excelled in their prospective sport. Here are the finalists for the Female Individual Performance of the Year Award. Danny Robinson, Volleyball. Kylie Flannery, Softball. Cody Clevin, Outdoor Track. The Wolverine Award goes to Cody Clevin. In the inaugural track meet at UVU, Cody obliterated three-time NCAA track qualifier Mary Notham's 5,000-meter school record by over 10 seconds as Cody ran it in 16 minutes, 36.34 seconds. It also ranks Cody as the number eight freshman in the nation this year and is putting her in line to qualify for the NCAA championships. And the finalists for the male individual performance of the year are... Ben Kerr, Wrestling. Jeremy Gendlick, Baseball. Josh McCabe, Cross Country. And the Wolverine Award goes to Ben Kerr. Ben put together what might be the most impressive run of all time for UVU a month ago at the NCAA Championships in Philadelphia. The senior 125-pounder upset three top seven ranked grapplers en route to achieve his lifelong dream of becoming a wrestling All-American. Ben also gave the eventual champion, Anthony Robles of Arizona State, his closest match of the season in the semifinal as Kerr fell by just two points to the undefeated ASU star. Ben finished his incredible run by placing fourth at Nationals. And now, here to present the male and female awards for Crowd Pleaser of the Year. Please welcome to the stage your faculty athletic representative, Dr. Mike Shively, and head volleyball coach, Sam Atoa. award is given to the student athlete whose enthusiasm and outstanding performance have given extra excitement to the crowd. The finalists for the female <laughs> crowd pleaser of the year are Kaylee Doxy, volleyball, Amanda Perez, softball, Katie Turner, soccer. The Wolverine Award goes to Katie Bug Turner. When this small in stature individual gets an open space, she knows how to get the ball in the net. And when she does, the crowd erupts. Katie has overcome many obstacles and injuries during her career, and this senior forward definitely does not lack speed. Katie scored seven goals this year and was named to the Great West Soccer All-Conference Team. And the finalists for the male crowd pleaser of the, of the year are... Ben Kerr, Wrestling, Chris Benson, Baseball, Isaiah Williams, Men's Basketball, and the Wolverine Award goes to Chris Benson.
Chris knows how to play the game of baseball, and his exciting hard-nosed style of play has put lots of people in the seats at Brent Brown Ballpark over the years. A year removed from hitting 408 and leading the nation in runs batted in with 89, the senior outfielder is doing it again in 2011 when he earned preseason All-American recognition. Presenting the awards for the Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sport Awards are assistant men's basketball coach Steve Payne and assistant women's basketball coach Liz Darger. Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sport Award goes to the student athlete who best exemplifies the spirit of sportsmanship and teamwork. This award also goes to the student athlete who is willing to put the team ahead of himself is willing to sacrifice for the good of the team, and an individual who values the meaning of good sportsmanship. The female finalists for the Wilson Source and Spirit of Sport Award are... Samantha Tellaroja, softball. Lauren Bluth, soccer. Zandria Nelson, outdoor track. And the Wolverine goes to, Wolverine Award goes to Lauren Bluth, soccer. Lauren was named to the Great West Soccer All-Conference team as she helped her team win the Great West Conference West Division regular season title. The senior midfielder has been a true leader both on and off the soccer field. She is also a Great West Conference academic all-conference selection and can often be found helping her teammates with their homework. The male finalists for the Wilson Source of Spirit of Sport Award are... Austin Heaps. Baseball, Tim Roberry. Cross Country. Trevor Baker. Outdoor track. And the Wolverine Award goes to Austin Heaps, baseball. Austin has always been willing to play whatever role needed to help the team, including playing as the designated hitter instead of in the field. The junior is a team leader and is hitting right around 300 for the year. Last season, he was named to the Great West Conference All-Conference Second Team. Here to present the Wolverine Service Award and Walk-On of the Year is head wrestling coach Greg Williams and head women's golf coach Dr. Sue Nias. It's a pleasure to be here tonight to present the Service Award to a student athlete who has gone the extra mile through their service within the community. Thank you to all of the student athletes who give their time and talents to benefit the community in which we live. We truly have made you truly have made an impact in the lives of many. The service award is given to a male or female athlete who makes a positive impact in the community and among their teammates. And the finalists for the athletic service award are... Andy Bagdon, soccer. Morgan Workman, women's golf. Justin Baker, men's basketball. The Wolverine Award goes to Justin Baker, men's basketball. Justin has been a team leader and team captain for men's basketball and has also served on SAC. The senior participates regularly in community service and can be seen all over campus and town giving back to the community and trying to get others involved in his same efforts. The Walk-On of the Year Award is given to the student athlete who started the current academic year 
with no athletic scholarship and has contributed to the team in a significant way. And the finalists for Walk On of the Year are... Josh Swinson, baseball. Mark Jones, outdoor track. Mason Casper, men's golf. The Wolverine Award goes to Mason Casper, men's golf. the team in January and was a leader from his first practice. In his first collegiate tournament, the SUU Pat Hicks Invitational, he shot seven under par, winning the tournament by two strokes. Since then, he has not looked back as he holds the team's lowest scoring average. Here to hand out the Educator of the Year awards are men's basketball player Jordan Swarbrick and Vice President for Development and Alumni, Mark Archambeau. Throughout my time here at Utah Valley University, I've had the chance to learn from many exceptional teachers. Tonight we get the chance to honor one of the best. The award for the Educator of the Year is given out annually to a deserving individual who goes above and beyond their teaching duties to enrich the lives of students. The following individual is nominated by student athletes for her exceptional teaching methods and dedication to UVU students. Our award winner for Educator of the Year goes to an associate professor from the English and Literature Department. Let's have a big round of applause for Lori Wood. Gentlemen, please welcome to the stage a duo of talented performers playing their violins from volleyball, Sarah Clement and her sister, Rebecca Clement. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the certificates for 4.0 GPAs for the fall semester and the Scholar Athletes of the Year, please welcome UVU President Dr. Matthew S. Holland and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Ian Wilson. It's so wonderful to be here to honor those student athletes who have excelled in the classroom. What an amazing accomplishment it is to achieve a 4.0 GPA while participating at the highest level of NCAA athletics. Your dedication to academics and athletics will take you far in life as you continue to achieve great things beyond your graduation here at UVU. 
Receiving a 4.0 GPA is not an easy task, especially when you are doing your homework in a bus, on a plane, or in a hotel room. Receiving this honor is a true indication of the type of student athlete we truly have and that you are. It is with great distinction that we present certificates to the 23 student athletes who achieved a 4.0 in the fall semester of 2010. As your name is read, please come to the stage to be presented with the certificate and uh, remain so that we can have a photo taken. From baseball, Craig Brimhall, Cole McWhirter, Peter Sunwall. From basketball, Holton Hunsaker. From women's basketball, Casey Mansfield. From cross country, Devin Adams. And Devin Moody. From women's golf, Julie Smith. From women's soccer, Nicole Archibald Spencer. Camille Broderick. Taryn Eldridge. Brianne Larson. And Natalie Young. From women's softball, Sydney Miles. And Megan Yoakum. From women's track, Emily Hansen. Sally Hansen. Makira Kwan. Joanne Naibo. Brittany Sievers. And from men's track, Preston Beatty. Ian McGetrick. And Stephen Wickhamshire. Dr. Wilson and I are now pleased to recognize the Scholar Athletes of the Month and award both the Male and Female Scholar Athletes of the Year. During the year, each sport is represented with a Scholar Athlete of the Month, recognizing the athlete's commitment to both their sport and their work in the classroom. The monthly honorees are then eligible for the Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. Here are the finalists for the Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. Kalina Zufelt Clegg, cross country. Kaylee Doxey, volleyball. Nicole Archibald Spencer, soccer. Zandria Nelson, track and field. Abby Butler, basketball. Abby Archibald, golf. Megan Yoakum, softball. The Wolverine Award for the Female Ath uh, Scholar Athlete of the, of the Year goes to Megan Yoakum. A 
four-year starter for the softball team, Megan has a 3.64 GPA while majoring in psychology. Megan has also put up a perfect 4.0 GPA this past semester and is a two-time Great West Conference all-academic team selection. On the field, the leadoff hitter is batting over 400 with four home runs. The finalists for the Male Scholar of the Athlete, Male Scholar Athlete of the Year are Joshua McCabe, Cross Country, Flint Ray, Wrestling, Tim Roberry, Track and Field, Holton Hunsaker, Basketball, Joey Olson, Golf, Billy Burgess, Baseball. The Wolverine Award for the Mayo Scholar Athlete of the Year goes to Josh McCabe. Joshua, a junior, was named the Perry Holmes Scholar Athlete of the Month for September. The exercise science major also holds a 3.4 GPA. He was named the Great West Conference Male Runner of the Year after he won the Great West Conference Cross Country Championships with a time of 23 minutes, 49.06 seconds, which also helped UVU win the team championship. Handing out the award for the games of the year are assistant athletic director Brad Mertz and soccer player Danielle Deke Anderson. We've had some amazing games this year and I've been to many of them and felt the electricity as in the air as the Wolverines have been victorious. The Game of the Year award is given to the team or individual who has created excitement, notoriety, and energy for UVA, UVU athletics. And the finalists are... UVU versus USU. Volleyball. Last minute goal gives UVU 2-1 conference win in soccer. Cross country Great West Conference Championships. The Wolverine Award for the Female Game of the Year goes to... Volleyball. Yeah! Well, how do you know that so fast? After dropping the first two sets on the road to the 11-0 Utah State Aggies, the Wolverines staged an improbable comeback in the final three sets to hand USU its first loss of the year. Behind Kaylee Doxey's game-high 26 kills, UVU just would not quit as it kept answering every Aggie run. UVU went on to win the exciting five-set thriller as it won the final three sets by scores of 27-25, 25-23, and 20-18. Congratulations, Volleyball. The finalists for the Male Game of the Year are... 2010 Great West Conference Championship Game Baseball. Men's Cross Country Great West Conference Championships. January 20th, four overtime game at North Dakota Men's Basketball. Do you want to read this one because you're male? How did you know, Daniel? I just figured. <laughs> okay, and the Wolverine Award goes to, for Game of the Year, goes to baseball. Trailing 3-1 in the eighth inning of last year's Great West Conference Championship game against Northern Colorado, the best hitting team in the nation once again came through as Goose Kalunki delivered a two-out, two-run single to left to tie the game, and Kevin Arenzi later ended it when he singled home tournament MVP Chris Benson with one out in the tenth to give the Wolverines the walk-off 4-3 win. The victory capped off UVU's dream season in which it finished with a 42-17 overall record. Here to present our graduating seniors with graduation cords and senior blankets, Mike Jacobson, Megan Kennedy, and Jared Sumption. It is amazing how fast four years can go by. We are pri privileged to be able to recognize all of our hard-working seniors this night. 
Each year we present senior blankets to our student athletes who have completed all of their athletic eligibility and have also applied for graduation. Keeping up with an athletic tradition, we will present a graduation cord to all the letter winner athletes who will be walking in this year's graduation ceremony. The graduation cord represents your time at UVU as a student athlete and can be worn on graduation day with Wolverine pride. As each senior's name is read, please come forward to the stage. From baseball, Kyle Beecher. Brock Sargent. Jason Zundel. From men's basketball, Justin Baker. Jordan Swarbrick. From women's basketball, Julie Smith. From men's track and field and cross country, Matthew Eccles. Andrew Graham. Alec Jackson. From women's track and field and cross country, Jamie Daniels. Shante Dodge. Allison Holyoke. Amanda Peart. Rebecca Phillips. Jasmine Whitman. From soccer, Danielle Anderson. Andy Bagden. Tasha Bell. Lauren Bluth. Kendra Buchanan. From softball, Jessica Anderson. Megan Yoakum. From wrestling, Kaysen Eldridge. Ben Carr. And from volleyball, Elise Jones. Please give all of our graduating student athletes a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, please welcome UVU volleyball player, Lindsey Barker. Deep brand. 
Here to present the Team GPA, Team Green, and the Team of the Year Awards are Student Body President Richard Portwood and Student Body President-Elect Christopher Lameau. Good evening. It's really hard to follow something incredible like that. Um, in fact, it's really hard to follow anything that you student athletes do. Um, one of the privileges that Chris will experience and I've been able to experience this year is the opportunity to represent you students, or student athletes specifically, and, and what you do and the ambassadors you are to the university is terrific. Um, so it's an honor to be here tonight. Um, Chris and I are here tonight to give out the pair of t a pair of team awards and the overall team of the year award. Um, the first award goes to the team that excelled most in the classroom. The Team GPA Award is given to the team with the highest combined GPA for the 2010 spring and fall semesters. Indeed. The winner of this team year's GPA is also the Team Green Award winner. Congrats. This team finished with a 3.63 GPA, which ranked them in the first in the nation among all NCAA Division I teams. Additionally, this team wins the Team Green Award because of their support with the UV3 program, supporting all of the sporting events and participation with them all. The Wolverine Awards for Team GPA and Team Green goes to Women's Basketball. The women's basketball team was named the Team Green Award winners for this past year as players and coaches could be seen in the crowd cheering on the Wolverines no matter what the sport. 
The team showed true dedication and devotion to all UVU athletics throughout the year. Additionally, the women's basketball team also excels in the classroom. Coach Nixon's Wolverines were honored last summer with the best Division I women's basketball team GPA in the nation with an unheard of combined cumulative 3.63 GPA. As we've been able to see tonight, we have enjoyed a lot of successes this year um, to everyone here. And it is an honor, a true honor, to recognize our Team of the Year this year. The Team of the Year award goes to the team who has excelled athletically, bringing praise to Wolverine Athletics and to the university. When the team is read, we would like to invite a captain to the stage to accept the award on behalf of the team. Okay. And the winner of the Wolverine Team, Wolverine Award for Team of the Year goes to baseball. <laughs> The baseball team put together one of the most impressive seasons imaginable in 2010 as they went 42 and 17, winning both the Great West Conference regular season and tournament championships. They finished the year on a 14 game winning streak and posted the best batting average in the nation at 372. UVU lost just two conference games all year, going 26 and 2 in the Great West Conference's inaugural season. The Wolverines also succeeded in the state of Utah, going 9-4 against BYU, Utah, and Southern Utah combined. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim drafted Jace Brinkerhoff after he hit 456 for the year and became UVU's first NCAA Baseball All-American. Chris Benson led the nation with 89 RBI, while Jake Rickenbach scored an average of one and a half runs per game, also leading all NCAA Division I players. Here to present the Bronze Wolverine Award is Athletic Director Mike Jacobson and Assistant Athletic Director Jared Sumption. It is, an, it is an honor to present the Bronze Wolverine Award to an individual who has been helping student athletes and UVU employees in various capacities for over six years. This individual has given tirelessly to UVU athletics. She has donated her time, talents, and influence to our athletic programs. She can frequently be found cheering on the sidelines almost, uh, at almost all of our sporting events. Oftentimes, she gets after the officials more than the coaches do. She is a true lifelong fan and is a very deserving recipient of the highest distinction the Wolverine Club bestows upon its members. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the Bronze Wolverine Award is Dr. Melissa McLean. Please come to the stage. years, Dr. McLean has spent countless hours caring for and helping UVU athletes succeed. She has treated numerous student athletes and her care and commitment for Utah Valley University Athletics is evident in her work. She not only understands and cares for the individuals and their injuries, but she also has a plan of action to help them get back on the field. She is a true fan and a friend to UVU Athletics. Wow, this is a shocker. You got me up here. <laughs> um, it's been an honor and a privilege to be part of this university, um, just to see where it's come in all these years. But more importantly for me, it's really the, I cherish being part of all your lives. Um, the successes, failures, disappointments for injury, probably more than anything, but uh, you're all true successes. And uh, I've loved every minute of it. And I thank you all, and my trainers, <laughs> thank you for making my job a lot easier. I uh, can't do it without you. Thank you, all of you, really. Yeah. 
And now, please welcome to the stage Vice President for Finance and Administration, Val Peterson, and Vice President for University Relations, Val Hale. We got Val squared here tonight. We thought we'd come in and see how you're all doing. Val and I are here to announce this year's most outstanding female athletes and the Female Athlete of the Year. Each sport has selected its most outstanding athlete. Those selected athletes will be finalists for the Athlete of the Year Award. The following athletes are all finalists for the 2011 Female Athlete of the Year. As your name is read, please come to the stage to receive your award. This four-year letter winner has led the Wolverines in two tournaments this season, including a 15th place finish at the Snowbird Intercollegiate in Tampa, Florida. From women's golf, Abby Archibald. This senior was a first team all Great West Conference selection after she had another dominant season on the court. The outside hitter will go down in the UVU records books with the most all time kills with a career mark of 1,600. From volleyball, Kaylee Doxley. She is a four year, she is a four -year starter that has been one of the most dependent and consistent student athletes to wear a UVU uniform. Despite recently coming back from, a ma from major knee surgery, she currently has one of the top batting averages in the conference. From softball, Megan Yoakum. This Mount Pleasant, Utah native set a new school record in the 5,000 meters at UVU's first ever meet at the Howl Wing Track and Field. She is the Great West Conference Freshman of the Year and led the Wolverines to their third straight Great West Conference Women's Cross Country Crown. From cross country and outdoor track, Cody Clevin. She set the school record in the hammer throw in UVU's biggest meet of the year, the Great West Conference Indoor Championships in the Bronx, New York. From indoor track and field, Becky Reeves. This athlete has helped lead her team to three regular season and to three tournament championships during her four-year career from soccer, Danielle Anderson. This sophomore transfer made an immediate impact on her team as she led her squad in scoring and the conference, and the conference in rebounding. She was named Great West Conference Newcomer of the Year from women's basketball, Sammy Jensen. And the 2011 Wolverine Award for Female Athlete of the Year goes to Kaylee Doxley. Yeah. Kaylee had an outstanding senior season on the volleyball court in which she was named first team All Great West Conference and was also a three-time Great West Conference Player of the Week. The outside hitter helped her team finish second in conference on the year at 9-3 and pick up monumental wins over Arizona State and an undefeated Utah State team, both on the road. She was also named to the Capital One Academic All Region 8 second team. Kaylee will leave UVU as the school's record holder in total kills with 1,600, kills per set average with 3.73, and total points with 1,815. <laughs> um, this is an honor for me. Oh, my mom's here. <laughs> Hi, mom. 
you surprised me. <laughs> um, she's going to make me emotional. <laughs> no, but this is really cool. Um, I had what I consider kind of a rough year, so this is an, an honor to be up here. Um, I have the best coaches in the world, and I have the best teammates in the world, and I've said this once and I'll say it again, but um, any one of them can be up here. They deserve this just as much as I do. So um, thank you for this award, and um, thank you, Mom. I love you. <laughs> um, no, I've just had, I've just had the best support um, for the four years, and I have um, a great loving husband as well. So thank you, guys. I appreciate this. Here to present the final awards for the evening, Vice President for Student Affairs, Corey Duckworth, and Wolverine Club Board President, Roger Wollstone-Hume. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations to all our exceptional student athletes on your awards and recognitions this, e this evening. It truly has been a remarkable year for Wolverine Athletics. We will be announcing the outstanding male athletes by sport and handing out the final award of the evening for Male Athlete of the Year. As your name is read, please come to the stage. A preseason All-American nomination, this senior has backed up his play and is one of the best hitters in school history. From baseball, Chris Benson. All right, thanks, Chris. He won the SUU Invitational in his first ever collegiate uh, start and then finished tied for fifth at the prestigious University of Kentucky Bluegrass Invitational from men's golf, Mason Casper. This senior recently placed fourth at the 2011 NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships to become UVU's first ever wrestling All-American. The 125 pound star was also named the Western Wrestling Conference Wrestler of the Year. From wrestling, Ben Kerr. He is the current school record holder in the 100 and 200 meters and is a member of the school record holding 400 meter relay. He is one of the most decorated sprinters in UVU history. From Imbor Track and Field, Ala Larea Akrong. This runner became UVU's first ever athlete to qualify for the NCAA National Cross Country Championships with a 17th place finish at regionals. He also set new school records in the 3,000 meters and the 5,000 meters from cross country and outdoor track and field, Josh McCabe. This junior transfer helped lead UVU to an 11-1 record in Great West Conference play and a regular season championship. Recently, he was named men's basketball's first ever All-American. From men's basketball, Isaiah Williams. And the 2011 Wolverine Award for Male Athlete of the Year goes to from wrestling, Ben Kerr. And recently achieved his lifelong goal of becoming a wrestling All-American as he placed fourth at the NCAA Championships. He was also recently named the Western Wrestling Conference Wrestler of the Year. And he was also a one-time WWC Wrestler of the Week during the season. For the year, Ben went 30-8, and eight, which included an 8-1 and one dual mark. At Nationals, Ben became the underdog story of the tournament as he went from unseated 
to finishing fourth. During his run, he knocked off three top seven ranked wrestlers. He is a two-time NCAA qualifier and will leave UVU as one of its most decorated student athletes in school history. Kerr was nationally ranked at 125 pounds for almost his entire career and will go down in the record books as UVU's most winningest wrestler as he compiled a career 129 and 35 record. Man, it's been a long road. Um, this started about five years ago when Greg Williams called me up and said, I'm taking the job at UV and I want to tell you the vision that we got. And, uh, and he told me, and I knew I could buy into that vision because I know what, what he shoots for, I know what Coach Rock shoots for, and I know what Erkin shoots for. And uh, I couldn't have been here without them. Uh, this award goes to, to the seniors that sat by my side this whole way. Justin Morrow, Flint Ray, Kaysen Eldridge, Jeb Clark. And uh, for being by my side when I was down. And uh, for all my teammates out there. I couldn't have done it with any, without any of them. Um, most of all, this, this award goes out to, to my family. They're all here. They've been, at, they've been by my side for, man, over 20 years on the side of the mat. And my beautiful wife, who uh, has been my cheerleader since day one. And uh, it's, it's a huge honor and a huge award to be, to be, to be a Wolverine. And uh, I thank you guys for, for, uh, for being a part of this. So thank you very much. Thank you for attending the 16th Annual Wolverine Club Athletic Awards. We appreciate your support and look forward to the 2011-2012 seasons. Please drive home safely and go Wolverines! <laughs>